hello i cannot believe that i've not sat down and done like a chatty video honestly guys in so long but hello hi it's me i'm back i just looked the last time i did like a chatty video was when we were in phuket in thailand so that was the 16th of april that is wild that is like just under a year which is crazy so i feel like there is so much to chat through like i have experienced so much in this past year i've literally bought a house i've oh why is my camera running out no 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 in a year i still haven't learned how to keep on top of my memory card so they don't run out of storage i just had to delete some footage from asia which is quite funny because it's quite topical i obviously still have the footage don't worry that's just the original format of it but anyway i thought we would sit down have a little chit chat catch up um talk through some things if anyone's feeling these things and they'll know they're not alone if anyone wants some positive vibes hopefully i can admit those it's gonna be a little bit of everything but i remember that this used to be my favorite things to do on my youtube channel so i feel like i don't know why i've kind of lost it over the past year but we're back on track with the chatty sit downs i did actually ask on instagram what questions people had because i don't just want to blurb for like an hour and no one actually care what i have to say so i thought it was best to check jake has also gone out the house to go to the gym which is great because i feel like these kind of videos like i'm never shy about talking in front in front of the camera and like talking in front of other people but with like a meaningful video where like i sit down and talk about how i feel it always feels a bit daunting if other people are around um but i do need him to do up my bracelet i'm just adding some of the new Monica Vinita Valentine's collections to my stack. You probably have already spotted this. Absolutely. Why is my camera not focusing? This absolutely gorgeous big metal like heart. Guys, I am obsessed with the Valentine's collection. Like I put these earrings in like a week ago and I haven't taken them out. You guys know I'm such a Monica Vinida fan. Like I have some of their bangles that I have literally worn. This bangle I've had on me for way over a year, maybe even two years at this point. And then I have my other bangle as well. Then I have my other bangle as well. All of these rings are Monica Vinida. And this one feels like a personality trait of mine at this point. So of course, when they said, Misha, do you want to get your hands on some of the Valentine's bits? I was like, yes, please. And thank you, send me everything. So I've got these gorgeous gold earrings. Can it focus on the earrings, please? Not my mouth. Like my mouth is the least important part. Can you see? Can you see? Oh, stunning. Then I've got this big necklace, which is actually like a locket and it's engraved on the inside with the letter J. Um, whenever I get things engraved with the letter J, it is mostly for Jake, um, but obviously my dad was called John. So every time Jake's like, the J for me, the J for dad. And I'm like, this J, this is for you. This is Valentine's collection. I'll let you have this J. Um, and then I've just added this little like heart chain necklace. Ah, so, so cute. And then the reason I need Jake is because I have a matching little heart I always feel like a little YouTuber beauty guru whenever I do this. These little hearts as a bracelet, but I'm good at putting on jewelry myself, but this one, I can't quite manage it. Not only are Monica Vinita's pieces absolutely stunning, they do really focus on sustainability. All of their packaging is made from 100% recyclable materials. And also they have a lifelong program. So basically all of your pieces you can wear for your whole life and obviously that limits you having to rebuy pieces over the years of course if i'm going to share something with you guys i'm gonna offer a discount code so you get 20 percent off on monica Vinita, which the more discount the merrier we will take it <laughs> now let's move on to the questions and get into the nitty gritty i love how some of these are literally like where was your scrunchie from <laughs> and then like others are like so much deeper Okay, before I actually get started in any of this, I thought I'd just say a little cheeky announcement. So, you guys probably won't even be surprised, but... First the worst, second the best, third the one with the hairy chest. I am going to be doing my third marathon. 
I said after Leeds Marathon, no more marathons for a few years. I lied. I can't help myself, guys. I can't help myself. <laughs> the running buzz is real. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. Um, this is going to be my first ever marathon, like, by myself. Um, because I did Brighton with Katie. I did Leeds with Jake and Katie. And then London is just little old me. Little old me and my thoughts for 26.2 miles. And I have some really great things that are coming from the marathon. It definitely gives me, like, a purpose. And something to work towards for the first quarter of the year but yeah I'm doing my third marathon I'm doing London marathon if you're gonna be in London or if you want to come and watch the marathon is on and I quote the 21st of April so I'm obviously doing the marathon for motor neuron disease I'm obviously fundraising for them so I will leave the link in my bio to my fundraising page in case you guys want to check it out it's always like where to start how are you having your own, how are you feeling about having your own home that you own? I'm not gonna lie, it's still really weird. It still doesn't feel real, even though it's literally nearly been like six months. Even if the house does not look like we've been here for six months. Um, I was in the shower earlier and I was like, oh God, there's still so much to do. It's funny because like, I feel like in winter, all the things that you need to do become a lot clearer. So like in our living room, there's not a door there, which has proved a heating nightmare so i literally got rid of that door when we moved in because it wasn't basically they left it upstairs in the top bedroom and the door wasn't in very good condition so i just got rid of it because i was like oh it's fine we don't need a door there and now i have since realized that we need a door there because it is freezing Everything. <laughs> I am dreading to think what our electricity bill and our gas bill and everything is gonna be in these colder months but I suppose it's just one of those things like you just gotta suck it up when you're a homeowner like there's not really anything i could do when i bought the property it had its rating for like its heat efficiency and the only thing they suggested you could do was insulate the roof which would make it two percent better and upstairs is toasty warm it's down here that n the conversion that's like older because upstairs is the roof conversion is the loft conversion it's down here that's actually chillier but we're figuring it out we've bought some like handy diy bits to like seal the windows a bit more to make it a bit warmer it's just one of those things there's just always a lot of jobs to do when you own a home um i feel like there was a stage where i kind of felt a bit trapped in the fact of like oh my god i own a house which is amazing but i'm still so young and there's still so much i want to do that doesn't necessarily involve being in england i'm not even saying that for like a now plan but like me and jake over the years i've always spoken about like wanting to do like stints abroad and obviously we did our five weeks in asia and like obviously that's not long enough to need to worry about you know a property being empty but i think it was one of those things that like I panicked about the fact that like well I, I it's not like a lease where when the lease ends I can then go and do my own thing but I then was like no Misha you can just rent it out like it's not a big deal I'm not saying that I'm renting my house out anytime soon I'm absolutely loving living here I'm staying here but it's one of those things that it's like okay so in the future that is a possibility and I don't have to feel like because I've bought in London I have to be tied down to here um but as I said I love where I live I love this house like it was such a good choice when i think back to all the other places that i looked at i'm so glad that this ended up being the home um because yeah it's just great but there's still like we still need two chairs still need a cupboard for the bathroom still need a door there still need so much i feel like i'm happy with the bedroom but we don't even have bedside tables so <laughs> it's just a work in progress and that's absolutely fine like i've realized there is no rush if i'm gonna be living here for like five ten years i got all the time in the world how do you feel happy and not lost and how do you know your boyfriend is the one i think that is such a big question and i honestly don't think anyone knows i don't think you will ever know it blows my mind that love is one of the few things in the world that cannot be measured you cannot prove technically i know you can prove that you love someone but you actually can't like what are you gonna do a lie detector test like that's still not like a legit way um love is something that cannot be measured it cannot be you know proven as such and i suppose it's the same with the one like you just don't know like what do they say like there's multiple people that could be your soulmate there's multiple people that could be the one um so i think if you are constantly searching and thinking like is this person the one or like 
is there somebody else out there for me and stuff like that. I think if you're single and like hunting and on a mission, and hunting, <laughs> not hunting, if you're on a mission to find the one, and I've been in that position before as well, where like I've always been like, I need to literally, it needs to be 100% like, they are the one for me, blah, 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 blah. And I feel like that is such a big ask, especially at a younger age, that like right now, of course I want to marry Jake. Of course I want to be with him the rest of my life. Like, of course I hope that he is the one. I'm never gonna know. He's never gonna know. No one's ever gonna know. So all we can do is be happy in what we are and like build on that and work on that and keep working on our relationship and you know, all of those things like marriage and babies and everything like that will hopefully come down the line. Um, but I feel like if you're so focused on like the one, you will almost like scare yourself out of relationships because every single person has faults. I have faults, Jake has faults, my best friends have faults, like everyone has faults and I feel like this is the longest relationship I've ever been in. Like we are nearing this summer the four year mark. Guys, that is crazy to me crazy like i honestly cannot believe i've nearly been in a relationship for four years before jake i wouldn't say i was a relationship person i obviously went relatively quickly from like one long-term relationship but like that wasn't even a year to a now a very long-term relationship and i feel like i have learned so much about myself about relationships about life whilst being in this relationship like the amount of shiz that has been thrown our way during this relationship it has grown me up so much and it has also made me realize like what you need from a relationship and um who's worth fighting for and it's that previous situations of like i've had what three boyfriends in my life i've had two breakups and in the moment those breakups would have felt like so impossible and so hard to get past and you know like it always feel, a breakup whether you're breaking up with someone or they're breaking up with you it always feels like the end of the world for that period of time and like now being so far from that point i can realize how so much happened for a reason um and i actually feel like i am legit able to give relationship advice now because i've been in one for so long so i'm quite proud of myself <laughs> this is a record and i like it Tips for doing long distance after living together. I'm not gonna lie, we did this for January till April and it sucked. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. Now I get that some people probably can work that really well and some people really thrive in long distance. And at the beginning of my relationship with Jake, we were long distance for the first like nine months or whatever before we lived together because we lived together after like nine months of being together, but it's fine, it worked out. Um, yeah. The beginning of our relationship when we did the long distance it was fine it was one of those things where like i was just grateful to get to spend time with that person but then living together for over a year and then living apart was very very difficult i'm not going to lie to you it isn't for the faint-hearted but that doesn't mean that it will break you what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and it definitely did make us stronger but it isn't a time that i would like to relive we obviously went from living together for over a year and like being in each other's pockets to then suddenly being three hours apart and i just was not in a good mental headspace in that time i feel like at that time i probably also had a lot of resentment because i felt like my london dream had been ripped away from me and although it wasn't jake's fault it wasn't anyone's fault it was the london like rental market i think i just had resentment for everyone around me because i was just so upset that i wasn't where i wanted to be but I also think that those four months were probably needed. It was a great step back for me to focus on myself, to focus on training for my first marathon because in that time is when I did Brighton Marathon. So although it was a very difficult time and I definitely hit a lot of lows, I can see now how transformative that time was and it gave me the opportunity to focus on the marathon, to focus on myself. And then I feel like when you come back into your relationship and living together again, you appreciate it a lot more. There's not that many about this, but I feel like there is always one about like marriage and babies and i don't know how many times i need to say online that you should not be expecting any of that from me any time soon i 
feel like people because i've been in a relationship for nearly four years think i'm way older than i am and i also think because some of social media like people are similar to my age and you know they are engaged or they're having babies and like i'm only a year and a bit like two years younger than my sister and my sister is going for a boyfriend for 10 years they have a child together they have a house together like i f i want to remind everyone that your age does not then determine what stage of life you should be at because i know people that are my age that are single that are you know still living at home i know people that are married people that are having children you know there's people that are traveling the world like everyone is at such different stages and although that is something that i so want for myself i don't want it now i also think having oakley in my life is incredible and it also has shown me how much work it is to have a child like i genuinely praise every single parent out there for raising a child like that is a mission an absolute mission <clears throat> and i feel like i have learned so much from watching my sister be a mum my sister is an incredible mum like uh, it actually makes me want to cry because ah uh, you know it's so lovely seeing someone that you love loving something that you also love and like I never doubted my sister would be an amazing mum, but I was always like the maternal person when we were younger. So to see her like just embrace motherhood so incredibly and like be unfazed by so much, she is going to make me so much of a better mum and I'm so aware of that. She's going to make me so much more chill, she's going to make me so much more grounded. Um, and just watching her raise Oakley, like I have learned so much about having a child um and yeah it's just amazing to see but i also realize how selfless you have to be when having a child and i'm not ready for that like i'm not ready to be selfless i want to be selfish i want to focus on myself i have so many massive things that i'm working towards that like i don't have time to plan a wedding to to have an engagement party to you know have a baby like none of those things are at the top of my list right now and it's the same for jake like we are very much on the same wavelength and i really really appreciate that because you hear about so many relationships that break down because one person is so ready for those things and the other person isn't and then it's like this person either has to wait or this person has to step up to the plate and not always does that work um so i am very grateful that me and jake both are like in absolutely no rush and it's really funny because when i was younger my cousin and my other cousin obviously they're not actually my cousin they're like my, my cousin's wife but i see them as my cousin because they've literally been around for like since i was a baby um like they were together when they were 16 and they didn't get married until they were like 30 i think it was maybe a little bit younger but like i remember when i was younger thinking like that was crazy that they waited that long to get married that long but now being like this side of it i can see how they wanted to do everything in their life and then settle down and have children and get married and i completely understand that you don't have to do it in that order and you can you know take your children on these adventures with you after a um seven and a half hour flight with oakley on the way back from dubai I'm not sure I'm going to be travelling the world with my children in the future, but you never know. Hold me to this clip in like 10 years time when I'm on a flight to Thailand with like a three year old and I'm literally pulling my hair out. Um, but yeah, it's just a reminder that like you don't need to be in a rush. You've only got one life. Live it at your pace because you're the one that actually lives it. And yeah, don't. And if, every time I post a, I've got an announcement coming, there is always about 10 people that are like, baby, ring. I'm like, no. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong, I still send Jake engagement rings, like, every day of what I like. But, like, I'm talking, like, save this in your pocket and album for, like, years' time. <sighs> How do you have such a good relationship with food, eating healthy and enjoying? This is actually very typical. Me and Mole went out for lunch yesterday and... You know how the calorie menu things were brought in? I can't remember, was it beginning of this year, beginning of last year? And most of the restaurants that I go to, I either don't even see it or they don't have it because obviously it's like only if you're over a certain size or a certain chain size, you have to have the calories on the menu. So I've gotten so used to not seeing the calories on the menu. And then yesterday when we were at lunch, 
the calories were like so staring us in the face and I'm not used to that and I knew what I wanted but I saw the calories and they seemed quite high and like I said to Mo like uh like I want the steak I want the steak sandwich but like the number is like tapping into my brain so I'm thinking about going for this other option which she got but she was also like you know that you know do not let that number stop you from having what you want and we were talking about it etc etc um and then it came to ordering and i ordered the steak sandwich and that might not seem like a big deal or a big win to many people but mo literally turned to me after and she was like i'm so proud of you and i ate the whole sandwich and i really enjoyed it and you know what it didn't change a thing <laughs> so it's definitely taken a long time to get to this point um and that's a prime example of like i still have moments sometimes don't get me wrong they do come like very infrequently these days because i do feel like i have remained in my body and like shown up for myself and etc etc like in this body and i've seen that eating this or eating that hasn't changed me as a person if you know what i mean like i've seen how much i can rely on my physical body through running you know through everything that goes on in my life so i'm grateful for the body that i have so then i'm in the mindset of like i need to fuel it to be able to do these things i also think it's very much about the people that you surround yourself with because there was definitely a phase where like i was getting triggered by what a lot of people were saying um and like removed myself from those people and those situations and now if someone says something and it triggers me i understand that that is my problem not theirs but i do let them know because it's one of those things that like if you feel a certain way about something that someone said if you care for this person and you want them to be in your life if they can do something tiny to stop them triggering you you might as well say it because it's just going to make it a positive experience all round and like i get that not everyone will take that on the chin but like my family and people around me like kind of know to not start certain conversations with me just because i don't want to like get in then maybe get into it um and i'm definitely way more opinionated now than i used to be and like i always think about like how i would raise my children with food and like i'm very much like everything in moderation which i feel like that phrase is so annoying but i'll eat chocolate every day and i won't feel guilty about it you know i'll eat carbs with every meal and you know like four years ago I couldn't even tell you what carbs I was eating apart from vegetables. Like, it is a process, but surrounding yourself with the right people definitely helps that. Um, and just trusting your body is another massive part. Okay, I feel like I have literally rambled for so long. Let's find one last one, and I'll keep it short and sweet. Oh my god, yeah, sorry, I just read one. Where is the ring? Well, it's not here. Is nowhere near. Let's end with a nice one. How are you mentally right now? I feel pretty darn good. Don't get me wrong. I still get my days just like everybody else. Um, but I'm just so excited about so many things that I'm working on. That I have this like almost like anxious and excited burn inside of me. Which is good and bad. Because it's probably going to lead to burnout at some point. But I'm trying to keep it under control. I'm getting my 8 hours sleep. Um, but yeah I just feel very grounded um and just excited for what's to come which i feel like this is the first year in years that i've been excited to see what the year is going to hold and i posted this on my story the other day but i will say it here as well please let this be your reminder to go after what you want whether that's work you know relationships personal goals like go after what you want because if you don't try you don't get and i have definitely learned that in this space i spent so many years in the social space kind of just coasting and seeing what fell into my lap and now i am so like go out and get and work for what you want and it's definitely paying off so i'm really excited because stay tuned there is so much exciting stuff happening surrounding the marathon surrounding everything that's happened um and yeah 
I can't believe it. These little legs have got to get to work.